hello um how are you this early spring day <laughs> i'm feeling really awesome it's it's been so warm outside and i decided to go uh, out in the park and uh, just kind of enjoy the weather a little bit uh, so i hope you're enjoying your spring so far uh, it has been really pleasant and i'm i feel like i'm warming up and waking up finally <laughs> uh, this year so that that feels great so i decided to go to one of my local parks to just take a walk and clear my head um i've had a little bit of a rough night last night <laughs> just uh found out some unfortunate news about my condo process and uh, i even recorded a vlog but i don't think i should share it with you because it's just a little too much um of my emotions in it <laughs> so you like my earrings i found an awesome etsy shop and I bought these and I just got them this morning. They're super cute and they're quite inexpensive. They're very different. They're handmade by a certain uh, person. I'm not even sure if it's a lady or a man, I don't know. I need to look that up. But I'll suggest you getting some stuff from her because it's very unique jewelry. I really like it. And I might order more of these too. They're so different, I like them. And they're very light too. And uh, that's another thing, I'm going to be uh, doing some remodeling in my home because we again, we're trying to move, hopefully soon, probably won't work, but that's fine. Uh, we have a plan, so we're gonna stick with it. So I'm going to be getting rid of the box and um, soon you won't see it in the office anymore and it's gonna be a nice clean bedroom. <laughs> but I'll have to somehow make my videos in it. So there's gonna be a little bit less quality in the upcoming videos. So. How are you guys doing? Are you doing good? Good. Um, I've been a little bit emotional lately and I think just because a lot of things are just kind of hitting me again and some of them are negative, some of them are positive. But it's been feeling great. Especially the positive one was I think that um, I've been feeling deeper and deeper connection with my Daryl lately and I don't know if he feels it or not. But I feel much deeper, like I almost, I'm almost starting to cry because it's so beautiful. <laughs> and I, um, you know, there are days that you just cannot believe how happy you are and how blessed you are that finally something like that happened to you, like you deserved the person that you always wanted to be with. So it's really nice. I'm very emotional, sorry. <laughs> so anyway, uh, how have you been doing? I hope you've been doing good. Thank you so much for watching all my videos i see the views and the comments and they're so uh, heartwarming and i thank you so so much for them because they made my day every day saying thank you i'm sorry i can't respond to all you guys it's hard very much to respond to both channels i mostly have time just to read uh, things and re reply very very briefly sometimes but most of the time i do take in the love from you and i try to give it back in the next video as much as i can so i hope you can feel it too so, and thank you for being supportive because as you know, this channel has been my outburst, so to say, of uh, just myself. I guess, because um, Gentle Whispering's page, it's awesome as an outburst of creativity of the, the most perfect side. But the side of me doesn't come out that often and I want to share it. And uh, I want to share it, I guess, for acceptance. <laughs> I want to know that I'm also accepted and loved the way I am and not just because of my craft and what I do for people you know my, my service to humanity <laughs> so sometimes um, again like these videos I just want to be myself and without any breaks and if people don't want to see me this way well, so be it yes you gotta stay true to yourself and be authentic as much as you can and that's the most important thing and things will happen for you I actually think it's starting to rain random ADD moment I, I do have ADD I swear to God I never thought that that's a thing but I always get distracted by almost everything <laughs> maybe that's why I didn't do so good in school I was I had really bad grades I have to say I, I had perfect English grades and my English was perfect and um, but like I was not good at in grades, especially like math and things that you have to be concentrated on, like do patterns from, like have a line of thoughts, so to say. I could never do that. It just doesn't work for me like like that. I have to be like abstract thinking. That that's my thinking. I can't be like one one thing at a time. I can't. I don't know why. It's definitely raining, isn't it? 
I'll have to run to my car later. <laughs> you'll, you'll run with me in the rain. <laughs> Uh, I also wanted to show you a little recipe. Um, it is meat and cabbage recipe. So if you don't, if you're a vegetarian or don't like the look of meat, please don't watch it. But I love these, and in Russian it's actually called lenivy uh, galupci. <laughs> uh, but you can just call it meat and cabbage patties, and that's fine. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to make these wonderful meat and, and cabbage patties. They're um, much healthier than regular patties because they're half of uh, cabbage inside of it. But it shrinks down and it dissolves into the meat and it becomes just a fiber-filled um, dish, so to say. So I hope that you will try it and then te test it out uh, for yourself. Let's see how we made it. Okay, so for this recipe we're going to need equal amounts of cabbage and um, the meat that you would like to mix it with. I have lean pork, but you can use meat substitute or chicken meat, um, ground chicken or beef, whatever you want. Then I used a regular um, white or green cabbage, whichever one you like to. This is approximately how much of it I actually cut off. And then I shredded it into pieces literally just on the shredder. It wasn't easy, just let, to let you know, but it works out good. Uh, even though there are some big chunks, we can always eat them if we want to right now, or or just pay no attention to it because um, during the cooking it will subside and it will liquefy and all you will have is just the fiber left and the water is going to subside. Let's add our spices, onion powder then garlic powder, paprika, and now pepper and salt. Salt, now an egg. So now we're going to mix it all up. Nice and nice and good. Okay. Now on the slightly greased pan, we're going to just make patties and just place them right on top. Leave it to cook for a few minutes. So we're going to cook them up to uh, a little bit more brownish color and then we're going to flip them. Slowly and surely. So now we're going to add uh, chicken and vegetable broth to this. Um, I do this lately almost to all of my dishes because I don't really know exactly what it does but it just increases the flavor, it um, bursts the flavors in everything that I add it to. So I usually add chicken broth or vegetable broth depending on what I'm, I'm cooking um, for like rice for example or for even meat uh, steaming. So this is the way the patties turned out. Let me open them up for you. You will see the inside. So you can see some pieces of cabbage in here <laughs> and uh, I paired it with um, all bay corns and some rice so let's have a bite I can have it with ketchup or I don't have to have it with ketchup but with ketchup it's, it's yummy mm -hmm. <laughs> I could actually add a little bit more pepper but it is great so it's a thumbs up for me Thank you. So, I think that's about it. And uh, it's a very short little outburst of a video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a good time. See you soon again. Bye.